call. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just thinking of the attorney-client confidentiality. Yes. You know, as the, well, as the named individual in the two-count criminal complaints. Yes. I think there's very few persons that ever have just the prosecuting attorney file a two-count criminal complaint against them instead of the, well, the alleged victim calling the police or sheriff's department saying he's violating the protection order and I need you to arrest him because he's <laughs> keep sending me emails that are lewd and lascivious. <laughs> See, when a citizen yes. that has um, just citizen power, not sovereign power, yes, I think there are certain protections within that, that for the prosecuting attorney to have any knowledge of the court case, yes, before the actual arrest, yes, violates attorney-client privilege. <laughs> Could be a good one. <laughs> There's this thought, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the reason, yes, <laughs> you would want law enforcement to be involved, right, <laughs> and law enforcement to investigate, yes, is there's no possible way that the prosecuting attorney's office would know about uh, the defendant, yes, until the public defender does. <laughs> 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 